Now that I've created this mandala design, I'm going to show you a couple things about filling in your work with color today. We're going to look at fill, gradient, and also how to add and paint with a texture in Autodesk Sketchbook. First, I'm going to turn off selective stroke if it's on. I'm going to turn off symmetry if it's on. Um, we don't need any of those tools right now. What we're going to start to mess around with is under here, which are these selection tools. I'm going to choose the magic wand and I'm going to bring my tolerance around the middle there. Now that I have the magic wand tool selected and I bring it to about the middle, what I'm gonna do is start selecting areas to fill color in. So you can see that the marching ants go around whatever it is that you're tapping into. You're basically tapping into the negative space in your design because that's what we're gonna fill with color. So what I want to do, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and just kind of work with the center area. I want to keep choosing all of these as I make my way around, but you could see each time it selects it, it deselects the other. So in Sketchbook, when you click this tool right here, you can either add or subtract to your selection. And this tool will just keep, each time you click something, it deselects the next until you click here. So what I'm gonna do is click the plus, and now each time I click around, I'm adding to my selection. And you know if it's adding to your selection because you start to see those little, what we call marching ants. Oh, now I just selected a whole bunch of things. Um, so you could either just delete a section and clear it if you do something like that. Um, also, like if let's say I did something like this where I'm getting a couple of different things, but I wanna get rid of that selection, that's where you use the subtractive selective tool and you just click to remove, click the plus again. I think what I'll do is I'll select these all the way around each of these little triangles. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into and create a new layer. These um, selections are still there. And now I'm going to go to the paint bucket here and look at my options for filling color. So with the first one, that's just gonna be a blanket fill with color. You can see it's done in one step. The other option, this is gonna give us a gradation color. So you could see when you click that tool, it shows you a couple of different colors here and you can adjust that gradation by clicking on to that little circle. Maybe I wanna do a dark blue and I want the beginning one to be a teal blue. Ooh, I kind of like the gray in the center. So that's how I get myself a gradation. Um, you can also do kind of a radial fill, uh, which will, let's say I do that, it kind of looks a little bit like the gradient fill, except you can choose to have a center color and have that halo out. This might be really nice for a mandala because we want to work from the center and out. So I'm gonna switch those colors again like I chose before. See how you can adjust how large or intense that glow is. So that's how I can start to place gradients in, inside of my design. You've got a fill option, you've got a gradient option, and then we've got the radial gradient option. Now you can see that the gradient fill that I placed in there is in its own layer because when I had a selection, I clicked new layer and placed it in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to paint with texture inside of Autodesk Sketchbook. 
So over here, we've got these different blending options. And I'm gonna click something called overlay. All right, now it went away for right now. But if I take a layer and put it below here, I'm gonna show you how when I use a pen tool or a marking tool, how this overlay will reveal the texture in that area. So I've got the under layer selected and what I'm gonna do is start to look in under my brushes. There are so many different brushes that have different kinds of textures to them. So if I click the library, I start to see a, a couple here. Um, we've got like half tone and here's all the texture brushes. I'm gonna do this little hair brush um, and see how that looks. Now, when I come over here, make sure I've got the size up. Again, that's in library. I'm going to go to the hairbrush. And now it really doesn't matter what my pen color is, even if it's black. When I start to sketch in there, it shows a little texture that is going on and it brings the color out. That's the magic of overlay, is it's gonna bring out what's underneath. So um, if I start to shut off my lines, you could see that what's left is this really cool kind of pattern. So now I'm just gonna kind of start going back and forth with this. Let's turn my lines back on go to my selection and deselect the layer. Okay, I'm gonna come <clears throat> back over to this tool, this layer, get my magic wand tool, get my plus tool, and now, oh, I have my wrong layer. I gotta go back to my line layer. So I'm deselecting, clearing it out, going back to my line layer. Um, I'm going to go to my magic wand, I'm going to go to plus. <clears throat> I'm going to bring in this center line now. All right, I've got them all selected. Now that those are selected, I'm clicking back to my fill layer. So we're gonna have a fill layer we're gonna have our texture layer, we're gonna have our line layer, and we're gonna just keep going back and forth through all of those and building up our mandala. So back from the beginning steps, we click our line layer, we make our selections using the magic wand and our plus tool. I'm gonna to bring this little center guy here All right, so I've selected it all. Now I need, before I fill, I wanna make sure I'm back in my overlay layer. And I'm going to go ahead and fill again with my radial fill. But the only thing is this time, if I go in and start to add my radial fill, I don't really see it right now. And that is because got my overlay on here. So if I come back here and you want to see it, click normal. So you could see that you can actually see that it is being filled here. Um, but we don't really see it in overlay until we come back to our texture layer and go through those steps again. I'm gonna do the dots. Well, let's see what these little cross hatching lines do. Oh, I've got white on and then nothing's gonna work. So I can mess around with black. Do these little cross hatching lines. Let's say I get too dark here. 
which actually I kind of like. But what I could do, since overlay is just um, a gradation of blacks and whites and that kind of stuff, what I could do is if I wanna make a uh, mark a little bit less intense, is I do the no color here, and then I can actually lighten up a bit. Um, let's do something like, maybe I take my black again and I let it be a little darker in the center. Oop, it went black back. Yeah, I think I like that. Now I'm just gonna keep moving through. <laughs> 